So welcome Aibon. Today's lesson we are going to focus about the present continuous and the present simple tense. Then api lesson neka vena vena balua. Simple present tense sekat balua, present continuous sekat balua habai. Api me lesson neke di em karane yane. Me tenses de katrati yana vena samokad. Right? So before we isolated the two tenses, we did the simple present and then we did the present continuous. But in this set lesson, we want to put both tenses together, look at the differences and then do practice questions so that we have them mixed together. Okay? Right. So today's lesson name would be to learn the difference between the present simple and present continuous tense. Right? Ede katra venasatamai api balane. So moving on. So what is the difference between the simple and the continuous forms and tense? Let's have a look at it. Tom cooks breakfast every morning. Tom is cooking breakfast. Cut the Vanessa. Tom cooks breakfast every morning. Look at the Vene. Hamadama Udeta Tom breakfast. Hadanama. Tom breakfast take a hadaming in. Can you see there's a difference? Tom Hamadamu data breakfast take a hadanama. Tom breakfast take a hadaming in. There's a difference. Okay. Let's have a look at these question tags. Is the action. Okay. So let me just put that word. We're missing a word there. Is the action happening every day? Is the action happening right now? Has Tom started cooking? Think about it. Here also, is the action happening every day? Is the action happening right now? Has Tom started cooking? What are your answers going to be like? Is the action happening every day? Yes. Is the action happening right now? No. Has Tom started cooking in the sense, has he started cooking now now? No, right? But in the past he has cooked, right? And he does that every day. So has Tom started cooking can vary as to how you think, okay? In this sense I'm meaning has Tom started cooking now, right? Is the action happening every day? No. Is the action happening at the time of speaking? Yes. Has Tom started cooking? Yes. So you can see that there's a difference with the answers and even the timelines. When we move on, both tense, sorry, both tenses involve the action which is there in the present. Okay? So, Tom Cook's Breakfast every day. Is the ha action happening every day? Yes. Dekama present ke thamai DNA. Alright. So, moving on. What is the difference between the simple and continuous forms? Right? So, here you can see it happens every day. Whereas, here it is at the time of speaking. Okay? It is metana hamadam vena kriyavak metana venne. Dang me mean pavati na kriyava katiyata. Okay? So, uses of the present simple and the continuous. Now, present tense is used to talk about habits, everyday routine, repeated actions, can everyday routine. 
right? General truths. Samaning ira paayan wa ira bahin wa general truths, right? Um, emotions, wishes, eva ke devar gana katha agaran we use the all right. So, moving on, now when do you use the present tense and the present continuous, right? So, you use it when you talk about the general truth. Say, can it apply in my rabahin way if I give a lava letter or habits? Purudu. Natang api ayay karan actions verita, right? Natang emotions, wishes, eva ge deval, right? Let's write an example. Now, example, I live in London. Manghamadama ji, what then in London? Well, anang. I live in London. Okay. Thawai kak thamai simple present tense ke. You use it to give instructions or directions. You turn right and go past the church. Or you can say, wash the fruits. Cut them into... Small pieces mix it with da -da -da. so you can see here we use the present con sorry present tense okay the base form of the verb next one we use it to talk about fixed arrangements in the present or future okay so the train leaves at seven which means you have what? Is it planned? Yes. Is it routine? Yes. Every day the train leaves at 7. So therefore you could use the present tense. Now here, this is to talk about fixed arrangements. They are fixed. Fixed velati in hamadam venava mai. Right? This one is definite. Then, um, example, I'm having a party tomorrow. Eka hammer, that was a when I cut them? No. But it's a fixed. Neve, it's a definite future arrangement. Anivarem a party ke You know, you have planned and finished, but it's not like a future arrangement that keeps on happening. Right? So, you used to talk. You use the present continuous to talk about unfinished actions. I'm doing my homework. Mom, homework karaming innama. To talk about temporary situations, right? So to talk about a temporary situation. I'm living with my cousins. Eking adhaskarani mamme thava kaalikwa tamai man cousins like in digatama sada kaalikwa in the neck. Right? To talk about definite future arrangements. Plan kalati in the future ke karanava kila. Definite future arrangements. Nay the ke venasatheerunga no ne. Make a villa fixed arrangements present or future. Make a villa definite future arrangements. I'm having a party tomorrow. So you can see the difference between the present tense and the present continuous. Present tense, hamadama, karana deval, habitual deval, long lasting deval. Present continuous, alut, alut routine, ne ke ke alut thing, ave, right? Nathan thamang temporary situation, ne ka kaknan thamai api, present continuous use karane. Hamadam when a kakwa geneve present continuous seka unfinished again a karamin in present tense talks about fixed arrangements present or future present continuous talks about definite future arrangements so there is a difference between the two right next one form of the present continuous I am drinking tea. Then balana am drinking. So I is the subject helping verb am plus the verb plus ing plus the object remaining bit of the sentence. If it is negative, I am not drinking. So subject 
helping verb plus not plus the verb plus ing plus the object. Are you drinking tea? So you will have the helping verb at the start, okay? Plus the subject, plus the verb, plus ing, plus object, okay? Are you drinking tea? Okay. Clear? So, if you have a question tag, WH question, right? Where are you walking? Okay, where are you walking? Why are you walking? Okay. So, then it's the WH question. Plus... Helping verb subject plus the verb plus ing plus the object. Okay, so let me write an example for this one here. Where are you walking? Where are you walking alone? Right? Where are you walking alone? Clear? Right. So, the same way we have a look at the present tense. Now, that was... Present continuous, this is simple present. So, subject plus the verb plus the object. Subject, okay. So, moving on, now we can have a look at the simple present tense, okay. So, simple present. Let's look at the positive. I drink tea in the morning. So, I, verb, object. I is the subject. Negative, I do not drink tea in the morning. Okay. So, subject, do not, verb, plus the object. I do not drink tea in the morning. Okay. Question tag, do you drink tea in the morning? Okay. If it is um, singular, does she drink tea in the morning? Same here. She does not drink tea in the morning. Right. So, when you have a look at... The form here, present continuous, it is singular. She, he, it is plus the verb plus ing. We, they, you. Ah, plus the verb, plus ing. I am plus the verb, plus ing. Next one, simple present, okay. She, he, it drinks. Okay. So that means the verb plus S. S means the S form. E, S, I, E, S. Adding S, right? You, we, they, 
I drink. Okay. We have the base form of the verb. Okay. So that is the form of each of these tenses. Now finish B's sentence. Then B kiyana tika api liyamu. Api ta hitana tense ka daala liyamu. I've lost my keys again. Wah, maga yattu rai nati vela. Not again. You always lose your keys. Ay yo, hama disse mo awa agi yattu nati ka raga na. You always lose your keys. The car has broken down again. I can't even get it. Can't even see me. Can't even see you again, right? Not again. Your car keeps breaking. Or your car keeps. Your car keeps breaking. Ayyo, hemma tisse moga kheri na wane, right? Look, you've made the same mistake again. Oh no, not again. I keep on making mistakes. I keep on. Or you can say I'm always making mistakes. Let's do it that way. I am, let's go with the structure, right? I am... No, let's say I always make mistakes because it's like you continuously do it, right? So I always make the same mistake. Next one. Oh, I've left my phone at home again. Typical. You always leave your phone. You always leave your phone. You always leave your phone. At home. Right? So even in this one, let's see. Um, not again. Oh, so we have to cut that down. Not again. Wrong. Written the wrong sentence. Your car has broken down again. Not again. It keeps breaking. Or it, my car breaks often. Let's say that, okay? Not again. My car breaks down often. My car breaks down. Let's say my car breaks down most of the time. Right? You always lose your keys. Not again. My car breaks down most of the time. Look, you've made the same mistake again. Oh no, not again. I always make the same mistake. Oh, I've left my phone at home again. Typical, you always leave your phone at home. All right. Put the verb into the correct form, either present or present continuous. Why are all these people here? What is happening? What is happening? Then Thaman to own and ang video eka pause karala. Thaniyama medical liyala avila. May answers check karana pulong. No problem. You can do that. So I am doing it, but you can obviously pause the video or do it and then check the answer. Okay. Julia is good at languages. She speaks four languages. 
Very well. Are you ready yet? Everybody. So it should be, do you say, are you ready yet? Aren't you ready yet? Okay, so we could correct it and say, aren't you ready yet? Because yet is used with the negative tag. Aren't you ready yet? Everybody. Everybody is waiting for you. Right? Next one. I've never heard this word. How you pronounce it? How do you pronounce it? Okay. Simple present tense. How do you pronounce it? Kate not work this week. She's on holiday. So Kate Vadakaran ne me sati. Kate is not working this week. Next one. I think my English improved slowly. It's better than it was, right? So what can you say? I think my English is improving slowly. It's better than it was. Hari? Next one. Yeah, the next one. Nicola live in Manchester. She has never lived anywhere else. Manchester So Nicola lives in Manchester. She is living in Nugegoda temporary. She is living there. But the meaning is different. She has never lived anywhere else. Okay. But you can say Nicola is living in Manchester. She moved there two weeks ago. Then it's a temporary one. Can we stop walking soon? I'm starting to get tired. I am starting to get tired. All right. So now we have to think again. Is it present continuous or present simple? Okay. Hungry in the afternoon. So I usually get hungry. Then Kumata Mama Dane present tense the present continuous the kiela. Hamadama vene kakna simple present tense. If not, then we mean ne kakari new weka kari temporary kakari na I know it is present continuous. I'm getting okada. Hungry. Oh, so we've done that. Okay. So I'm getting hungry. We don't need to write anything there. I get hungry. I'm getting hungry. Okay. You listen to the radio. No, you can turn it off. Are you listening to the radio? Are you listening to the radio? No, you can turn it off. To the radio a lot. Do you listen to the radio a lot? No, not very often. The river Nile flows into the Mediterranean. The river Nile flows into the Mediterranean. The river is flowing. When is that water? When is it? When is it? Short term, it is 
flowing very fast today much faster than usual i'm not very active i don't do man samaning active kenek neve i don't do any sport man sports karak ne what do you usually do what do you usually do at weekends okay rachel is in new york right now she is staying at the park hotel she always stays hamathi semana she always stays there when she is in new york are the underlined verbs okay varadinam correct them water boils at 100 degrees celsius ek hari samanya vena deyak vature celsius ansaka seedi thamai uturane so that's normal right how often are you going mm. how often are you going wrong how often do you go do you go to the cinema ben tries to find a job ben what can you say ben is trying to find a job but he hasn't had any luck yet martina is phoning her mother every day hamadama wenne ekak nang is the ne martina phones her mother every day okay the moon goes round the earth in about 27 days that's perfectly fine it's okay okay It's a usual thing that happens and that should be in the present tense. Can you hear those people? Hey no, the mono people who are talking in ne. What are they? So it should be what are they talking? What are they talking about? What do you do in your spare time? That's fine. Okay. Sarah is a vegetarian. She doesn't eat meat. That's also okay. Usual thing. I must go now. It is getting late. Next one. Come on, it's time to leave. It will last till the end of the day, Bhari. Okay. I am coming. And off you go. Right. All right. Now again, try to put this. These two sentences. we've done it before as well so you should remember it but this of course now you need to think okay which tense should i use hari let's go out it is not raining now julia remember we did this sentence before is very good at languages ek samanyen thiyen ekak ya hari hondai languages walata i think she 
speaks It's present tense she speaks four languages very well next one how do you ikman karanna Remember we did this one as well. Everybody is waiting for you. Next one. Do you listen to the radio? No, you can turn it off. Can you say that? No. What would we ask? Are you listening to the radio? Are you listening to the radio? No, you can turn it off. Every day in Amukadene, do you listen to the radio every day. Right? The river Nile, what should you write? So if you remember we did this, okay, but in a different form, the river Nile flows into the Mediterranean. So the river Nile flows into, into the Mediterranean, right? Now here you have some question tags and thaman to make it the practice karan yalu hari kate hari kata practice karan, right? Do you watch TV in the evening? So they can say, yes, I watch if it's routine. Or you can ask them, are you watching TV? Yes, I'm watching TV. Are you studying for the test at the moment? Yes, I am studying. No, I'm not studying. Then um, let's say, example, Chaya. Okay. Are you studying for the test at the moment? Yes. And then you can ask her some questions. What subject are you studying for? She can say biology. So you can add the information, more information there. Okay. How do you go to school? By car. So if example say Amy says by car. Okay. Then you can ask her. What time do you leave home at 7 o'clock? What color is your car? Red. Okay, so you can ask her more information and note it down, okay? Are you having dinner at home this evening? They can say yes or no, okay? So let's say you ask Erin and she says yes. Then you can ask her what time? 7 o'clock. What are you having for dinner? Okay, planned future. What are you having for dinner? Pasta and chicken, you know, whatever. Are you feeling happy today? Okay, yes or no? Extra information. Right, now you have to construct question tags from these. Not question tags, rather questions. Write the complete question or sentence. Here we have questions. So let's write the question. How often? question right? Before one, in case, let me just quickly run through it in Singhala. Yaalue ging hari ka ging hari me questions ahan. Are you watching TV in the evening? Yes, kiyot. Metra liyanna example apik kiyamu susaki ala susaki no yes. So you can ask her what is the program. Okay, so what are you watching? And then she can say, uh, I don't know, um, Charlie and Lola. So you can 
ask more information about it. Okay. Ahana can I get a record color where we see the tick again. So, this is the activity that we have to do. Then, we have to do the missing words. We have to use the question tag. Right? So, how often you watch TV? So, how often do you watch TV? Next one What TV show you watch now? What TV show are you watching now? So, happening at the time of speaking now. What you do in your free time? So, what do you do? In your free time. Next one. What do you do after class? What do you do do after class? What do you do after class? You usually feel cheerful. Do you usually feel cheerful? Next one. How you feel today? How do you feel today? Or how are you feeling today? I think how are you feeling today would be better because we're talking about a specific thing happening at the moment. How are you feeling today? What do you usually do with your friends? You meet any friends today? Are you meeting any friends today? Are you meeting any friends today? Who do you live with? It could be who are you living with, if it's temporary, or who do you live with, okay? Where do you live at the moment? Can you say at the moment, where do you live? No. Where are you living at the moment? Alright, so let's have a look at the next activity. Use the phrases with sentences. Happening right at the moment. Now, right now, at the moment today. We are sleeping. I am dancing. She is watching TV right now. So it's happening right now at the moment, okay? I'm not eating. They aren't learning. He isn't crying. So these are things happening now at the time of speaking. Hare. Sentences, always, every day, on Thursdays, sometimes, usually, at weekends, every week, normally. So, I always play tennis. I usually go to office by bus. She dances every day. They go swimming on Thursdays. I usually don't eat spinach. Right, uh, Nimiti. I normally don't watch TV, or she doesn't normally watch TV. 
they sing every day or they don't sing every day. Vachana use karala sentence tags hada, mean sentences hada na. Okay. Make a tehemai. Vachana use karala sentences hada na. Good practice for you. Finally, there's a little board game that you can play with your friends, right? Can roll the dice and go, say for an example, I get three. So I go one, two, three. Write the previous sentence in the negative form. So what's the previous sentence? Ask a question for this sentence. I love reading. So what is the negative of this? I don't love reading. Right? Board game make a cat to make a play karana pulwa. Alright, so let's actually have a look at a ghost. We're going to roll the dice, okay? And we've got three. So we're going to go back and go three steps, okay? So when I go three steps, so let's go from here. One, two, three. Complete with the correct form. At the moment, he, what would it be? Is going. So let me write the answer here. Is going home. Okay. So from there onwards, I'm going to go again and roll the dice. This time I've got four, right? So I'm going to go four steps. One, two, three, four. Complete with the right form. She always watches because it's a routine. Always watches. E-S-Y because it's singular. Okay. If not, you can just go one by one for all of these as well. All right. So with that, I think we have come to the end of the lesson. Api practice kara other lesson ne ke di. Ona the practice kare. Simple present tekai, present continuous sekai. Right. So if you remember at the end, our lesson name was to learn the difference between the present simple and present continuous tense. So with that. We come to the end of the lesson, which was all about the present continuous and the simple present tense. Not just the tenses, but mukadda pikare. E deka atarati in a difference eka bala tamaya practice questions deka madala kare. So with that, we have ended the lesson.